Hi everyone, welcome back to Hey Bartender. Ooh, my name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender. Finishing my Guinness float. This is actually one of the nicest cocktails that you can be going to be able to see on uh, on the other videos. This is going to be the Shamrock uh, Drunken Shamrock Challenge 2021. Just do your favor to yourselves, Google and see how we're going to be preparing this guy. Um, it is absolutely delicious. Mm. In other words, talking about cocktails, you guys. Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for all the support and all your thumbs up uh, for all the videos. And uh, please, if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe right there in that little red thing. Just click on it. You're going to be receiving two cocktails a week, hopefully, if everything goes okay and everybody's healthy and everybody's doing good. And uh, today, we're going to do something a little bit nice and special. So, I've been trying to work out on these uh, uh, very interesting cocktails and a system to make a cocktail. So today we're going to be making a really cool version of the strawberries and cream, which is going to be a pink cocktail, a clarified cocktail. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please stay with me and let me show you how we do it. All right. So, uh, a clarified cocktail or the clarification of a cocktail, it is a system that uh, it might sound not very uh, practical to make it one by one, uh, especially if you work in a bar, because basically what you're going to be doing is just like uh, mixing some uh, cocktails and some uh, spirits, uh, some syrups with uh, uh, milk products or uh, like dairy products or products that they can tend to curdle and um, once they do that, you're gonna be filtering. And uh, what you're gonna be needing basically is you're gonna need a really decent amount or a size container. You're gonna need a strainer, coffee filter, or a muslin cloth. Uh, and there is a couple ways that you can do it. There is like uh, some clarification with protein. There's some uh, gel that they sell and you can do the clarification with the gel. It can look like it requires to put them in the refrigerator for like uh, over 24 hours. Uh, one of the interesting things is that you can make these cocktails in the large batches. And uh, I was kind of like skeptical with uh, the actual uh, finished product. But uh, one of the things that I like is the flavor. The flavor is just very unique, very outstanding. So I'm like, hey, what the heck, why not? Let's try to do it today. And uh, today, well, we're gonna be using this amazing product, which I love the most. It is absolute strawberry and uh, juice and uh, some absolute vanilla. But we're gonna start by putting your milk. So in this case, for me, I like to use coconut milk. If you decide to go for something, you know, like uh, uh, vegans, uh, you can use coconut, you can use almond. And uh, we're gonna go for one ounce of coconut milk. So I made it in this clear glass, that way you can see the whole process of it and see how actually it tends to start growing at one point, okay? So we're gonna put half ounce of lemon juice. Remember, always fresh. On your sweets, what you're gonna be doing is uh, the Meruara syrup or Turbinado syrup. It's gonna be this nice uh, brown, uh, beautiful brown, sweet, toasty notes on that syrup. You're gonna go for half of an ounce. And now what we're gonna do is ounce and a half of strawberry juice, absolute vodka and half an ounce of vanilla. Now we have our cocktail done. You are not gonna be shaking it with ice. Basically what you're gonna be doing is just stirring it in order to integrate all the flavors. And you're gonna start seeing right away that there are some curls on the actual cocktail all those kind of like a white pieces breaking down. Okay, so you wanna start having that and what you're gonna be doing is just like put your filter on top of the strainer 
and add your cocktail in it. I'm gonna make a second one because I'm gonna have some guests coming over in a couple of minutes and uh, I'm gonna be able, well, a couple hours, so I'm gonna be able to actually offer them one cocktail for each one. So we're gonna repeat the whole process of the actual cocktail and I will see you in about 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so we're back. And uh, well, apparently our cocktail is nice and ready to go. So I did a double filter and after you finish the first filtering, you're gonna do a second time one. So that way it's gonna take all the uh, little impurities on your cocktail. You're gonna see a little bit of uh, uh, grease and that's okay. You're just gonna put this thing away and you have your cocktail ready to go. So we're gonna put some ice. Like I said, I'm making two cocktails for two special guests. So I'm putting all our mix inside of the shaker and let's shake a shake. For this cocktail, we're gonna use two Nick and Nora cocktail glasses and your fine strainer. Still looks almost perfect. And we're gonna garnish with something nice, but at the same time, simple and elegant. A couple pink petals. There we go. And there you have it, you guys. This is gonna be your strawberries and cream, a pink clarified cocktail. Salute everyone, and I hope you like it. Enjoy.